Okay, everybody, uh, I'm going to be placing some more rocks in my pond to try to cover up uh, some of this liner that's showing. Uh, the water's so dirty, you can't really see, but uh, the uh, I have a whole bunch of rocks on top of my, uh, my pea stone, and uh, I'm going to uh, just kind of feel my way. I'm in the deep end right now. I'm just going to try to get rocks like this and place them along like this to try to cover up this uh, this foam here. And I don't know if you can see when she zoomed in, I've got two little inhabitants here. I've got two little frogs. One right here. Okay, now he's in the deep end. Eh? And one right here. You can see him? Oh, this went way down deep. Snickers! What are you doing? Like, you got to be in every video. Are you nuts? Okay, so... Uh, these are the pond plants that a friend of mine got me, and uh, they're doing pretty good. Uh, there's like nice purple flowers coming up in that. And uh, I've got a whole bunch of uh, nice flat rocks here that when the water runs down, I'm going to have a lot piled up here to uh, have it hit them. chance to wash this one, but yeah, I'm gonna stack some rocks underneath that. It'll be up like this, I think. Mean. Just the lip of covering there. Yeah, so uh, this is my first time ever having chest waders on, and it's amazing when you get into the deep water how uh, tight it is uh, from the pressure. So, we'll see you later. Uh, we should get the falls going here soon. Oh, I forgot to mention, I planted uh, a hostess and two blue leaf hostesses there that should spread out and cover the uh, UV light, the shutoff valve and the uh, part of the skimmer. I had already planted that uh, Alberta spruce I planted this Alberta spruce today, and uh, two hostesses, one on each side, and I planted two hostesses over there on each side. Then I put more rocks around them, and then I put pea stone over top of them. So, uh, it looks like I got like little fish in here, but I'm sure they're just bugs of some sort. <laughs> 